All right, so we're here a couple weeks later, a few weeks later. The ice finally came off the lake. Uh, it's still late May. Yesterday it was snowing still, um, but the ice is off. You can see I got my dock in, and we're going to install this Scott Aerator Aqua Sweep. It's actually turned out to be a pretty nice day. It's still a little chilly, but not too bad. But the sun's coming out. There's a nice little breeze, and uh, we're going to get this on and see how it works. Here's the different um, fasteners I'll be using. The way that my dock is built, uh, it's a wood base, kind of a perimeter, and then on the top it's decking, composite decking on top. So uh, these ones are going to go in the side of the dock, these ones are going to go down through the top, and then these ones are going to go down through the top as well on the farther back side just because there's no meat underneath the composite decking. So these are just going to screw it to the composite decking. So oh, there's the neighbor's dogs. <laughs> so yeah, that's, uh, that's what we're going to be using. These are a T15. I think these are a Phillips. Uh, I, I'm kind of growing to despise Phillips, but these are a pH three. So they've got a little more grip on the head of them. And these are like a T25. Okay, so before I think we said we needed about three feet of water depth. I can't remember the exact measurement, but there's three feet there and we're three and a half feet. So I'm hoping that's deep enough. So if I have to block it up, we can do that too, but that should be, um, hopefully that should be deep enough. I will say that this thing is not overly heavy, not super heavy, but I mean it is not a very light piece of equipment. That needs to be tightened down, I think. How do you tighten that down, actually? Nope, oh, that's good. Okay, so we are off the bottom. And then what we're gonna do is oh, I didn't set that. Okay, so we're just gonna let it sit on the bottom. Okay. Alright, so we're gonna let it sit on the bottom while we screw this puppy on there. And then I can bring it back up later. That snugged up pretty good. That also snugged up pretty good. Switch this out for the dreaded Phillips. Stick these ones in. Don't drop your drill in the water. That right there. That's why I don't like Phillips. So if any of the um, Aqua Sweep guys are watching this, these screws are nice, they're stainless, but. Phillips, not a fan. Not a fan of Phillips. I'm assuming that's waterproof. I think it was. It said it was waterproof. So that's good. Waterproof. Hopefully it is. I 
one in there kind of crooked. Okay, that's in there pretty solid, but just for consistency's sake, we're gonna throw all these smaller ones in on the top. Yeah, the only thing that that did was just snug this back section down. There's no structural support there at all. So the next step, get this plugged in and actually let's pull it up. We can tighten these and that should keep it in place. Still wants to wander a little bit. I wonder if I uh, needed to snug up that collar down there. <laughs> yeah, I think I did. So I'll grab an Allen, snug that up, see how she does. All right, so those two set screws below were loose. I see there's a little warning sign that says, the two set screws located on this plate must be extremely tight or major damage will occur. So we got those tightened. Um, kind of a mistake. That I made was not tightening them before I installed this because it was it wasn't too bad there's one on the side but the other one is back this way so I kind of had to it wasn't bad it took me a couple minutes um, but it would have been definitely easier just to tighten those down while I still had it out of the water so we're gonna get the cord unraveled and hook it up and see what it does here's one of the most important if not the most important Part of this install is a GFI switch. Test it, reset it, test it, reset it. Make sure you got a GFI when you do this. Uh, it's just not worth it to run the risk of electrocuting family members, pets, uh, fish, or whatever. Um, just make sure you got one of these. Here's the extension cords I'm going to be running. They do offer longer cords on this unit, but I decided to go with extension cords. The price is about the same per length of it, um, but then I can use these for other things and they're, they're black instead of blue. And they're a little bit heavier duty, I think, than the, than the cord that comes with the unit. So this is, this is how I'm gonna do it. Um, Cost-wise, it's about the same, but a little more versatility with um, you know the the money that you're spending so these were 150 bucks a piece um, and so then i'll have 200 feet plus the 50 on the unit itself so 250 feet uh, i don't know if i'll need it you know here's where i'm at and then here's my boathouse so it's we'll see we'll see how it goes well i'm about four feet too short. This is just one extension cord, 100 feet. Almost made it. All right, moment of truth. We're going to plug it in. We got the light on. I'm out of the water. It looks like it's going. I heard it turn on. Let's run up and take a look here. Okay, so I've got the, the nozzle pointed up towards the surface, but it looks like maybe it's pointing a little too far down. So I'll have to adjust that probably, but let's go over and let's set this thing. Let's follow the instructions. Let's see. I don't know if you can see it or not, um, but it's definitely moving water I'm gonna have to adjust that you don't want that that looks like it's disturbing the bottom so we need to adjust that but real quick let's take a look at the instructions okay so it says plug in did that green power light is on yep press setup button red light will come on press and hold the clockwise button until desired endpoint is reached then release Red light will flash fast Press setup button to lock position. Red light will stop flashing. Press and hold counterclockwise 
or anti-clockwise if you're in Europe until desired endpoint is reached then release red light will flash slow press setup button twice red light goes off and green light turns on okay setup button red light on press and hold the clockwise button we'll go to oh, right there flashing fast and release press setup button to lock position set up press and hold anti-clockwise until desired endpoint is reached which will go right there press setup button twice power Okay, so there we go. What does it say? 20. The oscillator will rotate about 20 degrees every 20 minutes. Sweet. So, there we go. One thing I did notice, I'm probably going to change is these set screws i'm trying not to drop my phone in the water but these set screws are really hard to get a really good grip on so i'm for now just going to tighten them with the pliers to get them nice and snug but what i'm eventually going to do is probably just put a bolt in there because i can't imagine i'd be moving this very much so i'll throw a bolt in there that way i can for sure get them really snug it's easier um, because it was kind of a pain to get those snug um, that's one thing i would change but um so far it's looking like it's moving the water pretty good i'm gonna have to change that to push upwards a little bit we are kind of since this is a floating dock it is kind of at an angle so um yeah we'll probably give it a give it a few days here all right so we're actually another month later we're in kind of the end of second part of june here uh, the turtles are in the yard and there's a bunch of turtles looking to make nests so I've uh, I figured that I would make this video just one instead of two I'll show you how this thing has been working I haven't been running it constantly there you go buddy I haven't been running it constantly for like the last month but I've been running it intermittently and so I'll kind of show you what it's been doing I ended up getting the bracket to attach to a dock post the reason being is the, the height of this and so you can kind of see where this is attached here if that were on the dock it would be about a foot foot lower uh, and I just don't have the water depth here um, you can kind of see my neighbor's dock there's about a foot and a half two feet underneath there when I did the first video there was three feet of water here and the water was pretty much over the top of his dock and so we've lost about a foot and a half two feet so I went and got the the dock post attachment it works great and it makes it a little easier to move it to different dock posts um, so I don't know if you can see in the water but the water is pretty clear this has been running for the last day I got it pointed kind of towards the shore right now we're um, distance wise there's one two three four five six dock sections so they're eight feet so whatever that is 48 feet you can kind of see it's blowing underneath the dock and it's it's running pretty good up to the up to the shore the dock blocks it quite a bit but you can see the water is pretty clear lots of bubbles and stuff coming through it um, it really hasn't done anything to the bottom, which is what <laughs> what you want to do to keep it legal, I guess, is, you know, when I pointed it up, you don't want it to excavate the bottom of the lake. And so you can kind of see here, there's some weeds. They must have got caught. Oh, they're getting sucked through, maybe. 
but this thing works really good. Overall, it's good. I'm happy with it. Moves a lot of water. It keeps the scum off the top of the lake. A couple things that I have found that I am not very fond of is, and it's not a huge deal, but look at that. I mean, it, there is a lot of play in this. It moves around a lot. And I don't know if that's a bad thing or a good thing. Maybe it's a good thing that it, that it moves around and it kind of keeps water in a little bit different direction every time. But I just, I mean, it, it's moving around quite a bit. And it's, the movement is up top. So this whole shaft, this whole shaft here moves side to side. So the mounting and everything is solid. It's in the head of the unit that it's, there's some play in there. And I have not taken that cover off to look at it to see if there, maybe I need to tighten it down. Maybe there's a, a nut in there that's come loose on the top or something. But um, I, think, uh, I think I might. I think I might just take that off and look at it and see if there's something I can do. And the one thing, the stupidest little thing that I was excited about, this little tag, it, um, they must have clipped right here and so it didn't seal, so there got water in it. So the stupidest little thing I was excited about, kinda, you can still read it, but it's waterlogged. So that's not gonna last very long. Um, other than that, it's done well. It's done really well. Moves a lot of water. I don't think, I don't think it moves as much as they advertised. You know, if you, I don't remember what the specs were saying, but like 200 feet of surface, I don't think it moves 200 feet away. I mean, you're out there a ways and I don't think that's, I don't think that'll move 200 feet of surface water. So, but overall it's good. I like it. I think um, if you've got surface issues with algae and stuff like that, I mean, you can kind of see the weeds kind of coming up obviously but there's none of like the nasty floating garbage. And I wish I could, I wish I would have had some um, footage of it before, but you can kind of see there are weeds coming up, which you could easily take care of with a, a weed razor or a weed roller. Um, you can kind of see as we get farther along, there's kind of some of the dead like this this type of stuff that's what I had before just this dead nasty stuff and so the way I have this set up obviously it blows it in um, and around you know I've got it set to like an arc like this and so you can see where it's most effective I don't have any of that stuff or very little of that stuff and we'll get kind of into this so I mean it keeps a pretty good current going um, for sure, the, uh, the length of my dock, because we're almost at the end of it now, and it's flowing underneath the dock, and you can kind of see there is current coming up through here. So there is water flow up to the surface, or the, the beach here. So it does move quite a bit of water. And what I'll do now is I'll, I'll maybe turn this so we can look at I'm not going to actually set it, but I'll just turn this. And here's a, uh, you know, it doesn't turn the fastest, that's for sure. But I'll turn it out so we can maybe get an idea of how far the surface is moved. It, uh, it definitely takes a few minutes for that water to work its way out there so in the meantime we got the dock all in I got to get the jet skis in tonight got these new drive-on jet ski docks really nice uh, I got them at, at Menards they're the cheapest way to get them because they ship them for free you just bring a trailer got the boat in the water um, 
The dog is working on swimming. He's mostly poodle. So not the best swimmer, but he's working on it. So you could see a little bit of dust when I turned it, but you can kind of see it. it's not excavating the bottom. But you can see it's moving the water quite a bit, uh, quite a ways out there. That's probably, I mean, you can see strong current 30 feet. So yeah, final thoughts. It's good. I like it. I think it's worth the money if you've got issues with your shore and your beach and stuff with nasty floating algae. Um, you're not supposed to excavate the bottom of the lake, according to the DNR in Minnesota. But um, my educated guess is that it would do a good job of that if you wanted it to. So um, if you've got those types of issues with muck and things like that, uh, again, if I think if you wanted it to, if you're if your local municipality or your local laws allow that, it would do a good job of that. Um, of course, they don't allow that here, so I have not done that. So um, I can only speculate, but my speculation is that it would do a good job of that. So yeah, overall, I think it's a good product. I think it's manufactured well. It looks like there's a lot of quality in the build and it seems to work very well. So. All right, I want to talk about this dock post mount for a minute. Uh, so hopefully the wind noise isn't too bad. Um, but on this one, on this, I'm not so impressed with this. I, um, I've already had to replace these U-bolts. I don't think quarter inch is strong enough to get the clamping force on this to keep it from rotating without messing up the threads on that. I don't think quarter inch threads are strong enough to get that clamping force to do that. So that's easy fix. Um, just probably get some three eighths U bolts, try those. Um, but for the time being, I put some quarter inch ones in there. I, I added this little, another U bolt right here as like a stop collar. So when I'm moving this to different posts, I can just drop it on there and it's the, the depth is preset. Secondly, this bar here is not strong enough. It um, obviously it has the force going this way to be strong enough to hold this up. But as you can see with this motor right now, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but um, it just it flops back and forth, and then the torsion, the twist of it, it's just no, nope, that's not that's not strong enough. This needs to be either have another tube on the other side of this, so it's like a square, or, um, yeah, a, not, uh, I meant to say another bar, but what I was gonna say is a tube, you know, so you can have, say you weld your, your tube to this, and it goes this way, and it's welded to the exact same base plate here, so instead of, um, a flat piece there that's going to have the torsional twist on here. The tube keeps that because that's the main force. And the tube is also going to be strong enough going this way. So the up and down. So that's a suggestion. If there's any Scott Aerator guys watching this, um, I don't think this piece is worth the money. I'm just going to say it. Um, like I said, I come from a manufacturing background and um, I think you can do better. Uh, it was quite expensive for what it is and um, I don't think it has anything to do with the design but it is quite difficult to move from post to post because the weight is so far out but I don't think you can get anything you know I don't think you, don't think you can escape that but no I'm not impressed with this with this mount here so and this is the heavy duty one they they sell a, a light duty for like the half half horse models and uh, I got the heavy duty one, obviously, because this is a one horse model. Um, so this is the heavy duty mount. And um, yeah, I think, uh, I think it could be better. 
So that's that's my thoughts on that. Okay, so I did get it moved to the end of the dock. So that is it's a three foot wide dock section. And there's 10 feet between that section and this section. And so whatever that is. So we're standing about oh, 15 feet. You know, this, this is about 15 feet away. And so you can kind of see, I don't know if we'll be able to see the, the movement of the water. It'd be nice if you had polarized glasses to see. But um, there's the water movement. I mean, it's relatively calm out here. So this gives you an idea. And again, that's pointed up towards the surface. You can kind of see one little uh, weed there, kind of flapping in the breeze. Um, but you can see the movement. There's kind of some swirls and stuff out there. So that's another 30, 30 feet out there, 40 feet. Um, so, I mean, it's, it's moving quite a bit of water. So there's, um, there's a little bit of action shot for you. Mayflies they just exploded. By the way, if you get these drive on jet ski docks, for sure bolt them together. It is so nice to be able to put the covers on and off, and uh, you just walk around. and This is by far the nicest setup I've ever had. These um, you walk around, you can walk in the middle. Get the covers on and off. Yeah, that. Bolting them together like this is the way to go, for sure. Uh, if you guys have any questions, just let me know. Or if you want to see more footage, just let me know. I'd be happy to uh, get it out there. Sorry it takes so long. We've got, uh, it's busy here. we got a one-year-old, and it's always busy in the summertime. So thanks for watching.